Ivory with the catch. Adams is in on the tackle. The Jets offensive coordinator does a good job that time calling the pass down here in the red zone. Caught the defense off guard. They got the completion for a good game. Fitzpatrick's completion percentage, 80% on the day. The play clock's running down. Unable to bring it in. Got to give the defense a lot, of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Jason Morrow makes the catch. This time, they fail to pick up the first on third down. A rare occurrence here today. Chip shot here. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. Their lead a little more secure now, thanks to the kicker. And with the fourth quarter upon us, Phil, they've got to be feeling pretty good about things. Oh, I think they are. That field goal just gave it an emotional lift. That everything they've done all day has been positive. And, boy, they're going to be tough to beat. The Colts offense trots out onto the field, looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide in this one, partner. Well, the fact that they are losing this game so far, the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side. You know, you have many plays in that playbook. I think they need to try a few different ones here in the second half. Luck will take the snap from the gun. Johnson with the grab. Davis there to make the tackle. The Colts coaching staff, they have been smart today. They are keeping everybody off balance, even me. I thought for sure they would run the football, but no, they come out on first down, they throw it, they pick up solid yards. Good job by them. The Colts come out with a split backfield. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. There's a difference. When you play zone, you drop back and you watch the quarterback and you react to the football. When you're playing man-to-man, -man, all you're worried about is where that receiver goes. You try to shadow him, look for the football, and try to make a play. Luck standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Cleaners got the catch and the first. When you're behind in the football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, Good job by the offense. Luck out of the gun. Down on the field. Has the catch. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. Still more than a quarter left in the game, and with that touchdown, they're well within striking distance. Oh, they're right there now. Now you can sit back and change what you were trying to do. You don't have to play with desperation. You got it now. What you've done by scoring, you've made the other team have to come out and play and take some chances. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Jets back onto the field now to get another drive started. They came away with a field goal in their last possession, Phil, but had to be a letdown because they were really moving the football. Oh, I think you're right. They had to be let down. You, you execute so many good plays going down the field, and you just need that one to get you in the end zone. They did not do that. So, Jim, I think you're right. I think they were a little down about that field goal. D-line is shifting inside. They're pinching. I think they're expecting a run up the middle. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. The grab is made by Ivory. Games 15. The Jets are really a true football team. Their defense, we know it's good. They don't want to just rely on it. The offense, nice job picking up that first down. Eat the clock up. Keep the pace of the game on your side. Small lead here in the second half. That was a good job. Ducks out of bounds. He's now past the 100-yard mark on the day. The snap will come at the 33. The Jets' offensive line will be whooping it up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field room. What a good job by them. Excellent planning and awesome execution. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. 
and Ivory is going to secure the handoff. This is third down. Quarters formation here for the defense. Dropping back now into the shotgun. And it's batted down. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. He called the right defensive play. The defender's in position and knocks down that third down throw. the kick and it's through there the kick is good and insurance field goal for them probably not enough time left to surrender this lead they're gaining control of this one down to the finish sometimes in this game when you get a lead it's not about trying to pour it on it's about being smart all that matters is winning find a way to get this game over with while you're still on top The Colts take it from the 23. Throw it to the outside, and they've got the hookup. Jim, here in the fourth quarter, when you're down, what you want to do is just keep that football moving. That time it's a short throw, he gets a completion. Good job. Lux completion percentage, 70% on the day. The reception on his way. The 20, the 10, taking it all the way home for the touchdown. That touchdown tightens things up quite a bit. They may not have all the time in the world to work with, but they've got enough that there is still a distinct possibility they can make a run at the lead. You said the right word. It is tighten things up here in this football game, and can the defensive coordinator, can he not tighten up, go out there, be fast and lose, call some plays to help those defensive players out? The Colts lined up, onside kick coming up. And the hands team does his job recovering the onside kick. The Jets step back onto the field on offense. Their last possession resulted in a field goal. Well, I know this, it was good defense on the other side. That's what made them kick that field goal. So the defense is feeling good about the fact that they stopped that momentum by the offense and made them kick that field goal. Hybrids are running back after he makes a big run like this. He gets excited. He is just looking for his next carry. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. First down at the 18. He's up over 140 yards rushing so far on the day. The Jets know once they get inside the 20-yard line, you have to be able to run the football also. It can't be pass, pass, pass all the time. The offensive line comes through. Good solid run that time. Second down, three to go. Slashes to the left side. Touchdown! Run. Jim, when you have a good running attack, your running back has got to be able to break tackles. And that time, what do we see? Broken tackles by him. He's big and strong and fast, and that leads to the touchdown. The Colts are ready to return the kick. Gray is going to test the coverage this time. Able to move past the 20 brought down at the 23. The Jets with a nickel look here on defense. Moncrief's going to pull in the bullet pass. Still on his feet. 
third catch today so far. The Colts still trail, but as we look at the passing numbers, it's hard to find much fault with them. Lux tried to keep his team in it any way he can. Well, a couple things, Jim. You can't blame the quarterback because of trailing. He has been outstanding here today. The offense, the offensive line, the play calling, all good. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or run. Touchdown, and that'll close the gap in this one. And this game isn't over yet, Phil. It's up to the defense now, but there's still a lot of hope for this side. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's easy to play when the game is not close, but now the game is close. Can the defense handle that pressure, get out there and execute, and stop this drive? The Jets are ready to return the kick. And a touchback here. We'll bring the ball out to the 20. The Jets in quite a battle here in the fourth. The scores 29 to 27. First down at the 20. Running right through the trenches. That's a gain of 10. The Jets have really been able to run the ball today. That's been a huge reason why they lead. And Ivory's been brilliant. And he's shown no reason to stop giving him the football. Well, it's working well. Don't stop. The running game is hot. The offensive linemen feel the power. They love it. Just keep running right at it. The Jets will take the snap from the 30. Toss to the outside. No surprise. They immediately call the timeout. It'll be third down. Fitzpatrick's going to take it from the gun. And that's going to be a three and out. Well, the game is close. You're losing. It's third down. You need to get a stop. And the defense does it. Now it's fourth down, and they give the football back to their offense. The offense is still on the field here on fourth down, needing six for the first. Back at the line. They're going for it on fourth. Offense going to stop the game here with a timeout. They bring back out the offense to go for it. They'll go for it on fourth down, late stages. The Jets turn the ball over on downs. Anytime you go for it on fourth down in the NFL, that's a big play. Remember the game is close in the second half. Yo, you fucking garbage. I own you, yo. You fucking suck. I am your fucking daddy, nigga. You suck. You garbage, yo, yo, you garbage. You such a bum. You can't play defense instead of punting and you go for it. Yeah, quick bum. Yeah, uh-huh. You fucking suck. Look, you can't even finish the game. You garbage.